Welcome back to Signal Mentality. We are, uh, as I said, inundated with emails, snail mails, phone calls from you guys, and we're going to get to some of those right now. Okay, so this email came from Karen. Um, How is Karen? I think, well, let's see. Let's find let's out. Let's find yeah, out. Exactly. <laughs> um, so she writes, so I recently went on a blind date with a guy, and I had pretty high hopes for it, parentheses, first mistake. I dressed up, high heels and hair done the whole bit. I show up and my date is wearing a Nirvana t-shirt, ripped jeans and five days worth of scraggly beard. He proceeded to talk about himself for a solid 30 minutes, like I'm interviewing him for a magazine article, just giving me every minute detail of his life from how much he makes in commission to his grandma's upcoming visit from Greece. We went there for sushi, but even sitting at the bar, he was too timid to place his order with the bartender, and he was a regular. After 45 minutes and one drink, I ran. Do men really not know that this kind of behavior is unacceptable on a date? Please help these poor single boys. Whew. First of all, I'd like to apologize for my behavior that night. When I read this, I'm like, <laughs> oh, you exchanged the Metallica for Nirvana. I'm Never. Say, That's you. Never. Um, Th this is a common plight yes. in the dating marketplace, and I think that Karen... Her issues certainly are every other woman's issue out there, but she's right. You know, the first thing is, is not have that huge expectation. Bingo. It's a date. It, it's a crapshoot. I mean, it is dating. I always say this, and I know it sort of becomes exhaustive with clients, but it's a numbers game. Dating mm -hmm. is a numbers game. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that unfortunately, I think a lot of women tend to believe that that, that date's going to be magical every single time. Yeah, not not right. always the case. I mean, that would be wonderful if it was. But in, in this case, I would say, what was the expectation? Right. I mean, where, so it's, if, it's, if it's sushi, mm -hmm. and like you say, you always bring your A game. I think that's brilliant. Y you should. But if it's sushi and he's showing up just really like not into it, not in it to win it, yep. giant red flag. Huge well, red flag. Well, I think keeping expectations reasonable is very important. Um, I do think, though, and this is something that... I think it's difficult for guys when it comes to blind dates or for first dates or setups right. to know what to do because a lot of times if it's a blind date, you don't know that much about your date. So what I do actually personally is I'll sometimes give them choices, two or three choices and say, hey, I was thinking we could either do this, this, or this. So you kind of get an idea of, well, how to dress is one thing. Like, you sure. know, if you're going to go to uh, a dive bar, and see a blues band or whatever, then you dress one way. If you're going to go to a nice place, then you dress another way. So I think it is kind of tough sometimes for guys to know what to do. Having said that... Um, I don't condone that, what the guy... I right, mean, wearing I the T-shirt and the ripped jeans. I mean, I think you got to show a certain level of respect for the person. Well, unless... Meeting. But then again, you know, I, it calls back to what I said earlier about being indifferent and not caring. I mean, that's good to a point. I think you still need to have some level of decorum for the person and respect for the person you're meeting. I mean, that's just the way I feel about it. Well, I think... Actually, not to reference it. Well, I'm going to reference another article of yours. Sure. Uh, Nicole, I think it was yours. Dressed uh, appropriate for the venue. Wasn't that in, uh, so, yeah, in we talk, Would You Date Yourself? Would you, right, Would You Date yeah. Yourself. Right. Um, and I think, you know, I mean, I think his, this guy's attire would have been fine if they met at a rock show and the woman was the same. <laughs> and he knew that the you know, woman had this kind of similar taste. Yeah. Right. Then it's a style. It's a look. But um, I think in this kind of situation, you have to kind of find out where you go a little safer. Mm -hmm. but to, speak, to speak to Brendan's point though too, if you're so indifferent where you literally don't care and you're unshaven and your attire is, is subpar, yeah. I would say perhaps you shouldn't be out there in the dating marketplace and just really reassess and evaluate what are, what are your intentions? Like, what are you doing? Why are you even? Because right. mm -hmm. you're just going to disappoint other people as well as yourself. I mean, that can't feel good for him. Right. And if you are out there and you are acting in that way, you need to be aware of the fact that you might not right. get a second. I mean, that right. it's yeah. not, I mean, sure, be that way if you want to, but you have to be mindful of the fact that it might not lead to where you want it to. to well, right. I think what bothered me more about this email was the second part where she talked about his behavior. Mm -hmm. And right. you know, I understand that a lot of people, a lot of guys can do it. They're a little socially awkward. Maybe he's not a good sure. dater. Maybe he doesn't a lot of, have a lot of experience, right. which you kind of, you know, find s people are like that. But right. I still don't think that there's an excuse if he was how she described, mm -hmm. talking about himself. That's obviously another thing that you mentioned. Right. You know, in, in um, oh, would you right. date yeah. yourself. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, you have to share the floor with other people. Yeah. I mean, the, the objective of dating is to get to know someone. Right. And I think it's brilliant what she said in terms of it felt like an interview. 
Mm -hmm. Whoa, I mean, you should never hit someone with those barrage. Right. I mean, just uh, sort of being inundated with their life story. Right. I mean, you've got to share the floor. But also, too, with that was interesting in Karen, Karen's question. It was Karen. Yeah. Karen's question. Um, not all men are alpha men. Right. I mean, and I say this a lot, too. I mean, there's a lot of beta guys out there. Right. Not, you know, they're not going to be take charge or, you know, placing the order and getting the attention of the server. I mean, still, if, it, if there was a lot of chemistry in that date, I would have given, once again, cut the guy some slack, like mm. give him a chance. I mean, right. if he right. was looking good, he showed up, but you could tell that he was just a little timid, I would right. say still still give him a chance. Right. But this yeah. sounds like it was a complete right, disaster. It sounds yeah. like, right, right. Yeah. right. Complete disaster. Do we have any photos? Did she send any photos? No, she didn't. <laughs> but if you'd like to, Karen, please do. Um, but in general, I think managing expectations I feel like in I general need is just a good right. uh, good practice. I feel like I need to take Karen out to make for this. <laughs> we should. That'd Maybe be a great idea. And we'll film it. Kyle. <laughs> I like that. Kyle. I like, that's a great idea. You're taking his head, though. Kyle. I like to call Kyle Circuit Head, by the way. <laughs> Circuit Head Kyle McNaught. Um, uh, you know why. 